A true baker never backs down, especially with this cookie. Holla. Today I'm making something that I saw online. They are called cinnamon sugar pillow cookies and they have a vegan cream cheese filling. I saw them online and I was like, oh my God, I need to try these. So I'm gonna be making those today. Okay, so in my mixer, I'm gonna add one and a half cup of flour, half teaspoon of baking powder, three quarter teaspoons of baking soda, half teaspoon of salt, And I will go ahead and add in half cup of melted vegan butter, one and a half tablespoons of plant-based milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in. want to end up with some kind of grainy cookie dough just like this. Simple recipe for sure. It wasn't that hard, although I did have to add a little more of my plant-based milk just because it wasn't getting that cookie dough consistency that I wanted. But um, other than that, it looks really good. Okay, so here is my cookie dough. So I'm just going to start rolling them into my little balls. I'm just going to go ahead and tear some of my cookie dough, just like this. Palm size. And I'm just going to continue doing the same thing until I'm done with all my cookie dough. Okay, so now I'm going to start on my vegan cream cheese filling. So in my bowl, I'm going to add... A quarter cup of vegan cream cheese. And this is the brand that I use. There's a other, few other brands that I like to use, but this was on sale, so I got it. And I'm going to add four tablespoons of powdered sugar. And I'm just going to go ahead and mix that in. Make sure your cream cheese is soft enough because it's kind of hard if it's stiff, so make sure you leave it out of the fridge if it's refrigerated or at least an hour. I only left mine out for about 20 minutes, so as you can see I'm struggling a little bit, but I'm still going to make do. So. Okay. That's better. Okay, so once you have your cookies rolled up, I'm just going to go ahead and start stuffing them with my vegan cream cheese. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tear my ball apart in half. And I'll go ahead and add my filling. And then add the top once again. And of course, it's gonna probably be messy, but maybe add a little less. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and refrigerate these for 30 minutes before I bake them. Wow, these were really easy to make. I did struggle a little with putting my cream cheese inside of my cookie, but once I got it, um, they were pretty simple. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes and I just took out my cookies out of the fridge. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and roll my cookies in my cinnamon and sugar. Okay, so here they are and I'm gonna bake these at 325 degrees for 11 minutes. Okay, so it has been 11 minutes and my cookies are ready to come out of the oven. Look at how amazing those look. They smell so good. I can smell the cinnamon just from here. But I'm going to let them cool before I bite into them. Wow, they smell 
so good coming out of the oven. I am so excited to try one. Okay, and here is the finished product. Look at how amazing these look. Guys, these are so good. I took a bite from one and I almost ate the whole thing. Wow, amazing. These were so good. Highly recommend them. The recipe wasn't that hard at all. Everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And like always, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Until next time.